really short, actually. Like, I started at half 12, and it's not even half one yet. And it's just been like, bam, bam, bam. Obviously, it's really just been the Sentinel Prime and then just the Doom Fortress, but it's like... At what point do they really think... Do they actually think at this point that just spawning a few imps inside your ship's gonna, like, you know, cause you any trouble? Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember it in the lore of 2016 where they're like, and thus the titan was felled by the doom slayer's blade. And I was like, yeah, that can't be the same doom slayer. There's got to be multiple iterations. I don't remember that. But resurrecting the icon of Sin Man, that's a callback. A callback that I think a lot of people forgot about because it's not the Cyber Demon. <laughs> Spazzing out, falling off a cliff like a clever person. Oh, oh, look at that. Really pretty, man. I bet you I've already missed something. I nearly missed that. I know, let's just hide things directly underneath them. Look at that guy, it's like he's challenging God himself. I will face God and walk backwards into hell. Oh, you took your time. They don't really need that. They don't really need the double shotgun. Saving my uh, chainsaw. We just kind of solve that problem. And we don't get to see those very often because it's very rare that I save up my chainsaw. So. Whoever invented doors based off of light. Oh, look, he's back! Guess who's back? He'll survive that, but like the other guys won't. This guy is about baiting him out doing this shit. Yeah, but he is a pain in the ass still. That would be cool, but like I meant to punch him. Ah. <laughs> uh, gun is gun. Gun is gun. Ah. I still can't deal with this guy because it's like it's making me do things and think. I don't like thinking. Don't think, just shoot. Don't shoot, just think. Gun is good. Yeah, get stuck on the geometry. Let me win. Eee! The Tigri is annoying. Tigron. This, this axe pulled me in there. Oh, by the way, I don't want to ruin this plot for anyone, but evil alien force comes in to steal the planet's resources is literally the plot and the villain, like, driving motivation in, um, Biker Mice from Mars. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, that... Just punch that guy's head off. Slayer! <laughs> Fucking Slayer! <laughs> oh. Friend? Uh, maybe not friend. 
Ooh, friend. Look at this loser. Nerd. <laughs> Let's -a go. Yippee. Ooh. Nice out. Very screaming for vengeance of you. That album cover. Yeah, I have a t shirt of that. I mean, the screaming for vengeance, not the, uh, not, not BFG Division, but I would buy a t shirt of BFG Division. <laughs> um, down. Get down and deeper and down. Oh, uh, status quo, why? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't talk to me about status quo. <laughs> One of the worst aging bands on the planet, because you ask certain people, it's like everyone's like, "Yeah, man, you remember like all of these really cool bands," and you're like, "Yeah," and like no one remembers Status Quo. People will remember Scorpions and UFO and like Accept and all these other bands, Def Leppard, well before they remember Status Quo, because we're all pretending Status Quo don't exist, <laughs> even though they're still playing and they're still alive, you know. And every British guy knows it because they're on every Argos ad on TV. They're the guys that sing, whatever you want, but um, but um, those guys. Oh, <laughs> like you just fucking kill me already. I once, like, literally, this is like hilarious. I once for Christmas got a collection of one of, you know, those really shitty unofficial biographies where, where some jilted uh, manager or like record producer or something was like, decided to write a tell-all about, say, Aerosmith, or some guy who vaguely met Aerosmith once, and they're like, oh, yeah, everyone in Aerosmith's a fucking asshole, and you're like, oh, well, I don't believe that at all, because <laughs> I like Aerosmith, and then they're like, oh, yeah, here's the tell-all about Led Zeppelin, guess what, we don't like them. It's like, yeah, because <laughs> they didn't, pr they said that your uh, quality on the Production value of one track was bad. <laughs> Ooh, hello, new guy. You look a bit like the guy from Destroy All Humans if you grew up. Hey guys, I just want to go and shoot things over here. Why does he sound like that? Someone tell me. The guy in Destroy All Humans, he sounds like a. Uh, Fucking guy who was in The Shining. Um, buff Totem have appeared. No, fuck you! Why would you pause for that? Let's go find the Buff Totem, unless the art file is the Buff Totem, in which case let's not find the Buff Totem. This is, this is what we call the bad. Bad place to be, bad touch, um, big bad. Uh, let's just go find some things to kill. Ooh, red suit. Don't know if that's important right now. Uh, gun, good gun. This is not the gun I was picking up. God, I have brain is everywhere today. I was thinking about rock biographies that I, I never read. I, I got a tell all biography about status quo. I looked at it, I looked at the cover, and like I had Led Zeppelins and ACDCs, and like, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> it looked like a floating embryo. I was like, the fuck, man. This is not going well. And like, I just looked at the cover of the status quo one, and it was like, the tell or biography of whether or not that guy with the weird ponytail is like a good guy or not. And I'm like, dude, like, I don't really fuck. First of all, the gist of unofficial biographies for you. The surprise may shock you. They're always written by a guy who hates the band because they jilted him. So they do a tell all where they're like, yeah, fuck those guys. Those guys, like, didn't keep me for the next record or, like, 
something like that, you know. I'll tell you the real story, man. So you already know about that. Dude, it's fucking status quo. I don't care. <laughs> like, you know? I'm just like, dude, like, I know two of the songs. You tell me those guys are pedophiles, I'll just be like, oh, okay. Like, sure. Or not sure. <laughs> like, but like, you know, you could tell me literally anything about status quo and I just believe you and be like, well, you know, it sounds like they fit the bill. I don't know anything about them, man. Probably not should have gone straight for the pedo comment. <laughs> I have a status quo fans or people thinking I'm trivializing pedophilia. <laughs> They're gonna fucking kill me. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Seriously, who is the buff totem and how do I kill it? Ah. Dicks. Like it just appeared halfway through the buff totem. I feel like that's a bad thing. Maybe the arc file is like the summoner in the 2016 games? Nah, literally, you could tell me anything about status quo though, and I'd just be like, yeah, cool. Oh, members of status quo were in Anvil. I'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> Sounds right. Did you know they were the core inspiration for suicidal tendencies? Nah, that sounds legit. <laughs> you know, like... Dude, I don't know shit about uh, status quo. I don't think anyone does. They're like the Lee Evans of like rock music. They just appear, they do a few shows, they do like... They somehow sell a load of tickets, they don't seem to associate with the rest of the uh, industry, and then everyone just goes, Oh yeah, uh, status quo. And you're like, oh. Are you the problem? No, you're not the problem. You're not the arc file. Take me to your leader. Oh! Why? Okay, they're not fucking around now. Yeah, like, they seem to be those guys. If you've ever seen Lee Evans live, Lee Evans does fancy DVDs, he has a big sellout tour, and everyone I speak to is like, who the fuck's going to these things? I don't even like his comedy. And I'm like, well, it's tolerable, but not enough for me to go to the fucking O2 and see him, you know? And it's like, he only does that, he doesn't seem to have support, doesn't seem to, well, maybe he has support. He doesn't seem to have, like, um, any association with any of the other comedians in Britain at the moment. It's not like you see him anywhere else. It's just he does his thing and that's it. And you're like, oh, okay, that's weird. Is that me? Doesn't look like me. Like they just get it after a while, you know? Is it like somebody spawned in? Oh, fuck you! Yeah, I'm just gonna hit you while you're looking the wrong way. Fine, it's my fault, but whatever. Because they're gonna keep infinitely spawning until I kill the thing, and like that sounds very much like the, um, summoners thing and they don't have a summoner anymore. Wait, is that it? No. Oh, fuck you. It feels like, you see, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Let's just go kill him. Big kill him. Where are you? How are you not dead? Give me healths. Give me healths. Wheat wheat. Wheat wheat. Fucking wheat wheat. Oh! Not what I wanted at all. <laughs> Best time. I found a secret, everyone. Oh. It's not a secret at all. Okay, I, I'm really stumped because you're like, oh hey, we made the mini boss, the guy that just fucks your shit up and just constantly gives you problems. So what do you want me to do? Just stick this up his ass? I mean, it resolved the problem, right? Oh, arc file. Oh, 
is ever that great. Nah, we just stay in here, man. We just stay in here until you fucking die. Because always you become a huge problem. See, now they lost their thing, so I was right. I win. I'm right for once. Now we can get back to the killings. Is that it? Wow, they spawn way less. Oh, okay, no, I saw a thing. Look at this teleporting douche. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work, was it? Oh, well, that did. Bye. Yeah, let's go get some secrets. Uh, what was that thing I hit? It was this, wasn't it? It was you. It opens that. That was what I was going to see before. This is you. Mastery tokens. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Kind of trivializes the mastery challenge, but like if anything, you're not gonna miss. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you wanted a list of rock and metal biographies that are worth looking at, Slash's one's really good. Lemmy's biographical DVD film documentary they did on him is amazing. Uh, Aussie's was weird. I Am Aussie is a really strange, um, really strange uh, book. It just, it talks a lot. It's interesting to just read about, you know, those guys. Oh, hello. Uh, but, like, personally, I just felt that I just reading a guy it's like the, you know the stories of like all the rumors he ever did you know oh i heard that you know oh yeah and it was like it's just like verifying what's true and what's not so if you're interested in the legend of weird shit that ozzy osbourne did yeah uh yeah that's the place to go definitely all that down there there's that so even now in this game, we're still getting new pickups and new weapon, uh, enemies and, well, maybe new weapons. There's the crack in the wall. I fall from above? But above was uh, this bit, wasn't it? Ah. Uh, yeah, I can't. Okay. Gotta get in there somehow. Sorry, this is hardly uh, fascinating content. <laughs> Maybe we can move on for the time being. I often find progress is like I stare at it for a while and then it's like, oh, if I just moved forwards, it would have given itself away. Like I'll probably hit this and it'll do something. Something. We'll do something. Yeah, 
yeah, like I feel like it wants you to go into this, right? But I feel like that may have also opened up. Oh no, no, it just wants you to go. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Dashing is the only way to. This has swimming sections. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't have an O2 meter. It, it functions. You know, never thought they put. Uh, oh, yes, that makes sense. Eh. But now what? Am I just stupid? I'm probably just stupid, but like... How? Oh, yeah, that's how. Let me just... Fucking up, I'm fucking up. I don't really like how sluggish he is when he's trying to get out of the water. You're like smashing in. It's like, what? You're like, ah, oh, he's not a dolphin. Echo the dune fin. What is this and how do I... Something like that. But what did that do? What did you do? See, that looks like the way I have to go, right? Because that's like, yeah, it's pointing me that way. And there's this, but like, I'm more focused on progress right now. Oh, yeah, no, that would open that, wouldn't it? Da -da -da. Out, let me out. Hatred gives hope. Good to remember. Mm. I just wanted my Pepsi, just one Pepsi. I don't know if this ambient music's getting through on this recording, but if you go and play this game, which I highly recommend, uh, it's got this really like gentle, like thrash metal, slow, you know, that kind of stuff like you'd hear on like one by Metallica, that dun 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 kind of sounds very like one, or like uh, the vials in memoriam, just it's just very like yeah. Um, I miss, how do unmiss? Ah, I'll just do it like that. Ooh. 
crucible. If this is the end of the level, it's short again. Hooded figure. Floating tentacle figure. Look, look at the tentacles. Who's tentacle man? really go hard on like explaining all of the doom shit you know why is he like this where did he come from where did he go hot night joe mm, that's progress clearly i can get back up if they let me do this I can. Can I get the secrets? No. <laughs> Let's just move forward <laughs> instead of being an idiot. Um, retrieve Yo Crucible. I thought that's what that was. That's why I was like, is this the end of the level? That was quick. Wow. Yee, 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 yee. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to shoot first. Too long to lock. Now I'm dying. Now I'm dying. Now you're dying. Biographies, biographies, biography. I read Bruce Dickinson's one from Iron Maiden that was really interesting. He's a very interesting man. Uh, done a lot of stuff in his life. Fascinating. I was like kind of weirded out by how little he said about his like family life and relationships and just thought that's strange and then he writes at the end oh, I just didn't want to involve my life about that that's separate you know and I was like oh, okay fine but it just seemed a little strange because like a lot of other rock star kind of guys Bruce Dickinson isn't a quintessential rock star in the sense he doesn't have tattoos and he doesn't really talk about all the weird shit he did he just talks about like all of the stuff he like enjoyed doing like, you know, his achievements and, like, what he did and how it was fascinating to him and, like, his stuff like that. He doesn't talk about his family in the book and he doesn't talk about uh, any of the weird stuff that he might have gone up to, you know, like... Yeah. Oh, fuck you with this knocking me back shit. This shit happens because you won't let me hit him. <clears throat> Critical damage. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, very interesting man. 
very differently written from most biographies that I've read. Uh, even Slash would talk about quite a lot of weird stuff that he got up to, his marriage and stuff, his first marriage and his second marriage, and like stuff like that, and like kind of go into weird details about stuff that you're like, really? You're gonna? He was like, oh yeah, we used to live like in like a shipping container or a garage or something, all of us. Uh, and we used to just like have sex all together with like all the groupies in the same room. Yeah, it was just really weird. And you're like, okay. Never read the Motley Crue book, but I am interested in either doing that or watching the Netflix film. Or the film. If it's not on Netflix, I don't know. Is that it? Anything I missed? Thing in middle I miss. Need thing middle. So this is the last Slayer gate down there, so uh, I might try and on-screen it, although I don't have any extra lives. Um, I need to chainsaw that guy. Yeah. Uh, oh, RE-style puzzle. I see. Look. Light based. You can't. Who unlocks things via light? That's not a thing that people normally do. It's a weird way to run your house. Very time consuming to get to certain parts of your house if it's light based. And I say puzzle. It's go from one to other fast, and I just fucked up because I don't know where the other is. Fuck. There's one. I thought they were symmetrical, but they're not. Ah, oh, okay. I'll try and not fuck this up. See anything. Slayer gate up there. Slayer key there. So this might this is the last one. I may try and get the key and do it on the screen. Let's see how hard it is for me to get the key. That would be too obvious, wouldn't it? Do I have to go around? Yeah, okay. I can do that. Oh! Swimming section again. They're not bad by any means, it's just, uh, I'm whiny. And I've never been a big fan of oh, swimming sections. Oh, great. So how am I going to get that? Uh, the uh, rad symbol didn't come up there. Weird. Um, Papa puzzling. Oh, swim puzzles, really? There's something before that I had to shoot. Something to shoot. 
maybe it's not that time yet. I actually upped the rad resistance, man, real early, and it's like, eh. Don't like that. The whole hold A and double tap A is very Bethesda. Very like, I didn't really like the swimming in uh, Skyrim either, although there's quite a few funny stories of me like going, oh, I'll just jump in the river because I'm an Argonian and swim away from all my problems. And then one of my friends was watching me, I was like, oh, I yeah, know, I'll just jump here and then just fell off of a waterfall. Like, oh, why? And he was like, ah. I was like, oh, that fucking sucks. So where are we going? Let's see. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we go up here, don't we? We go up. We up. We up. We murdered. Why is there so much toxic water? Did we leak this place or something? You know what that's done? Blocked our progress or something. To get in the key. Yep. Or not. I probably messed up. Like, I, I mean, it is the last Slayer key, so they might fuck it up just so that you're like, oh, how do, and then it like, you know, but it says I still got to go through it, but it's locked, do I just shoot it, I don't just shoot it, Uh, dumb person alert, what am I doing? Oh, eh, we do, I do. Oh, I do, I, uh, I do, no, no do. Pick up the ammo. I do, okay, I do. Um, so dumb. Don't know how. How do, don't know. Uh, okay, that's all fine. I don't want to miss this key, man. It's very clearly what I nearly did there. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this in. And we're going to do it. I haven't got enough lives to make this easy. Sometimes I go in with like five extra lives because I'm going through the game again, like that level again. You can't use cheats to do this either, so. I'm legit doing it, but with extra. Okay. Mastery key. Two prayer things. I think I can get anything with that. Okay, I've also got no ammo, remember? So these are just like challenges like in your repertorium, I think, by the look of the map. And a lot of shit comes at you. Oh, and there's an arc vial in here or a buff tome. Arc vial. I love that the overheat even staggers him, you know. So this is just run, keep running, gun, keep gunning, don't stop for anything. Come on, man! Yeah, we go. Kill these as quick as possible, apparently. They will fuck your day up. And now it's just run, gun, gun, run, run, gun. 
kill everything that tries to kill you, I guess. Lucky, that was lucky. I think mean, he died there. Okay, uh, big thing go shooty shoot now. Good. Oh, are we near the end? There might be a new wave. This is way too fast. Oh, I miss. I miss. Shooty go shoot now. Eh. So sometimes the maps change, this is not the same as the first repertorium I went into, or the second or third. Yeah, you guys are sturdy. I see armor. Okay. Helps. Better if I could jump. Oh, cool. You kill. That was a bad hit. Somehow worked. I upgraded the uh, ice bomb a bit, so it's like easier. Oh, I should have kept it. Fuck you! These guys just fucking piss me off. Gun! Gun! Too many gun! Oh, fuck you, look at this. I'm just stuck and they're just stun locking me and not allowing me to move now. I can do this. The hard part I think is the arc file part and then the rest of it's just area control fuckers. Shame I didn't go with any extra lives or BFG stuff but I can do this and you will see the last of the Slayer challenges. For you, your viewing pleasure. Don't have. Um. Okay. Just gonna eliminate some problems. I'm gonna go find Mr. Stabby over here. Fucking hell. I did it so well the first time, in comparison to this shit show. Good. Bad. Gun! With ammo, please. Shoot with weakest gun in game. I win. Yes. How are you alive? All of your friends are dead. That was a strange noise. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. 
Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Not necessary for him. I think the cases. Oh, I think the cases just keep moving with these guys and freeze them when you beat them. all day. Great. The bad gun for this. did not. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Everywhere I stand and you fucker spawns. Uh, oh, look. The, these are the cyber demon guys. I've seen them before. Uh, in one of these challenges. But then... You just gotta keep moving, they're quite slow, like the man keeps buy things. to do that kind of be a little side thing. Shot his guns off.
Okay, we can do this, I think, but it's just, uh... Depends on how many more waves there are after this one, you know? Something. It tends to be in these things as well, it's like you kill the big thing and all the fodder enemies will just stop counting after a while or stop coming in at least. See, they just keep coming. But it basically means if you keep killing them, you're not going to run out of ammo or health. Wow. Time that messed up the timing on that one. Takes a lot of damage. But like last time I was just like emptying whole loads of shit onto them. Um, and there was three of them on one challenge. Dead? Great. Now what? Because <laughs> it's not stopped and the music's not stopped. There we go. I was expecting like other mini bosses to come too, but that's fine by me. That's the Empyrean key. Empyrean. Empyrean. MP. The Emp key. So yeah, we got the last one. That means the next time we're in Doom Fortress, we can get the Unmaker. Okay, back we go to the game. Oh, my name is so loud lately. Uh, yeah, so I really want to read, speaking about biographies again, I really wanted to read the Rob Halford biography because I was quite interested to see what his uh, life was like and what it was like being in Judas Priest. Because, like, I don't really know much about Judas Priest except their music, and that is pretty cool, and some facts about his life. Oh, great, a wall. Lots of walls, great. Use that BFG ammo. <clears throat> Great. Just walk in here, dude. Just trying to get by the wall of fucking enemies. That feels like harder because of the terrain than it did on the other thing, you know? <clears throat> like, uh, because the map's smaller, at least with the repertoriums, you're, you've got a lot of stuff to be working with. I'm getting through a lot of this. It's only 10 past 2 now. 10 past 2. And I've gotten through quite a few things and Slayer challenges and stuff, so. Uh, yeah, I'd love to read a Rob Halford biography because I've read a lot of Iron Maiden stuff, but not much uh, Judas Priest stuff. 
uh, about their lives and what they got up to and what their personal lives or like not their personal lives even just like what their lives were like I was you know I never read anything to do with that so I would be really interested this way and um yeah, I just love to hear about them because they're big motorbike fans and stuff. Like, there's a lot of bike elements to it. Sneaky boys. So we're not going to use that straight away because these guys do not warrant it yet. <laughs> mm, this one. Now I worked out a while ago there's a tactical way of like picking up uh, gas canisters and when you should and you shouldn't and I never remember to check when I'm supposed to because obviously the first hit regenerates so you can accidentally pick it up while it's regenerating and it counts as the first pip I think. I haven't been experimenting with it very much but you know it's not the ideal. I don't know where I am because he knocked me and clipped me into another place, so that was great. I hate it when they control your movement. Just, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where have you gone? And that's how you deal with them. <laughs> Probably not the most efficient way, but it stops like a hundred fucking guys because you know it's like. Those flame guys you're seeing that are like being brought in by the flame are him calling them in. So if you just kill him before you can do that while he's distracted, it just saves you a big ass fight by the look of it. I'm learning as you're watching me play, so if I am wrong, which I often am. How do? How do? How do? So, yes. so the quad damage in this is called onslaught. I got the thing to say maximum onslaught. That's maximum overdrive, which means just constant overdrive power, which is the haste, where you got unlimited ammo and quad damage. The onslaught obviously just 
means everything melts with virtually every gun you use. I test drove that on one level to see what it's like with the load of the cheats active. It's it's weird because <laughs> um, you kind of like it's fun, but then you get to the point where you're like, what is the point in this? Because like nothing can hurt me. You know, there's no challenge. But if you have to go back and clean something up, like you missed one secret, you can just go do that. So I found out the fast travel is like if you get to the end of the game, the fast travel unlocks. It means you can walk backwards after it says that. It doesn't mean you go back and load the game up from the beginning. You know, in case it fucks with the triggers, I think. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> oh. So that sounds like something I don't want to happen. How am I gonna um you know solve that problem? So we're fighting a titan. To be fair, look at this shit. This is pretty cool. I think I should look over here first. Yeah. See the secrets down here. Secrets. You know me and my secrets. <laughs> That's the Marauder, okay. I don't think I want him to come back alive. I feel like this would be a problem. Or just not a very fun boss fight. Like, Because when you're fighting a big slow moving thing, like I found before, you're kind of just running around him a lot. Gunning, and it's just a big health bar. That's a bit of a slog. Oh wait, I actually have to get the blade. Ah! Oh, I broke off the blade though. That seems like a pretty stupid weapon. You murder someone with it and then if you, uh, you retrieve the blade, it revives them. I'm sure we could just leave though, because it's like there's no one else here. So it's been like nearly two whole games at this point of them like teasing the uh, cool sword. So when will we get to the point where I'm using the said cool sword? He's moving fast. Chopper chopper. Chopper chopper yo pee pee. I don't know what that's from. Good, I had blood punch. Oh, this guy is well great. You are a problem, and I don't like it. <laughs> I 
Man, it's <laughs> so harsh. What the fuck? I hit you. Great. God damn it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know how to deal with him, he's just an asshole when it's a tiny, tiny room in a staircase. Oh. Oh, I read a Dave Mustaine, I'm just going to keep talking about this, uh, in downtime. I read a Dave Mustaine biography once, um, he's a weird man. <laughs> like, not money much weirder than any other thing, but like, you're reading it and you're like, oh, okay. Very Dave Mustaine of you, <laughs> like you know. I'm not sure how I feel about that guy. He's a very strange man. Like I love the music, but I like, I don't know if I could ever get like you know. Sometimes he just doesn't make any sense, you know. Like his like motivations seem a bit weird, and like he's just a bit of a strange man. But like you know, it's like most people. <laughs> Of course. Really? Why are they going to keep doing that? Fine, you're not connecting well. Good, great, sure, shut up. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah, they're like, at certain ranges he does this and that, and that's like, that is the worst lie. You get right close to him and he'll just projectile you in the face anyway. You know, like, do the long range projectile sometimes. Yep, 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 fucking anything would be nice. Jeez. Wow, fuck you. What the fuck's hitting me from behind? See? He runs up at you all piss and vinegar, then just projectiles you. 
point blank range and you're like, yes, I'm waiting for you so I can counter you. And then you hit the wrong fucking trigger because you're a genius. And it leaves you on an out of ammo weapon. God fucking damn these things. They're interesting and then it's like they just flood you with a small area of like bullshit. And then they go, oh look, here's this cunt and he won't run the way he's supposed to run. He won't run at you how he's supposed to. He'll run all the way up to you and then go, bang, with the long range thing and you're like, that's not how he's programmed. You're literally telling me right fucking here that I'm supposed to stay at mid-range with him. If I do, he shoots me. <laughs> like, you know? Like he does a close and far range. Full of shit. So basically do this perfectly with no damage. Oh, my eyes. There we go. And like, he literally camps by you while you're doing executions, waiting to get free damage, and it's just like, fuck you, man. Stop playing like a player would. And in those things where I get bit, if you wonder why I suddenly just stop moving, I literally can't move. It just freezes me in place, and any momentum I just had, it just plonks me down for a few seconds, and I'm like, what? I don't know if that's meant to be. And literally, like, his kitty is OP, so I shoot his kitty. Immediately spawns new kitty. See? Kill him, spawns another one. Kill him, spawns another one. It's like, no, I'm getting rid of him so I can focus on you, you idiot. Finally. Now what I want to know is, 
is he the same guy each time and he keeps getting revived? Or are there like many enemies like that? That's what I want to know. Oh, I need to chainsaw something. Not just because I have an insatiable lust for murder, I mean for the ammo. Um, okay. So yeah, I've been bored out of my mind because it's been like uh, quarantine still, or like at least my work is still closed here. Does Samuel Hayden really care? It's a big question. Okay, it looks like I have to go there, so. There, yeah, that's sense. Whether or not I can reach that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Worst gun for this. Um, so uh, yeah, I've been kind of stuck indoors under the recommendation that we all stay indoors, which no one's paying attention to anymore, of course. And all businesses are now open, basically, in China. However, um, schools that aren't essential, well, all schools have not been open for a while. Like, a big while, like since January, late January. And now they're like, oh, that's going to fuck up, like, exams and some exams have straight up just been cancelled for this year over here because the kids haven't been back to study for them so it's not fair Yeah, like recently we got through a thing saying big schools that like you know, high schools and stuff like that and middle schools may start reopening around like mid April, so mid this month. And of course my corrupt ass boss goes, Kindergarten's middle school, right? And the government goes, Nope. <laughs> big no. Nope. Don't let little kids get it. You, they don't need to go to school at this age, it's completely optional, you cannot open. So they're like, so you're going back to work mid-April, right? And I'm like, wow, you are going to lose your license, you corrupt assholes. But like, whatever. Like, you know, the reality is we won't actually be allowed to come back until mid-May, but they're trying to sit there saying, so April, you guys are coming back. I'm like, why? And they're like, oh, to prepare. And I'm like, to prepare what? And they're like, we don't know yet because we can't legally say for the kids to return because they're not allowed to return yet. <laughs> I'm like, yep. Uh, so yeah, like I was just sat there like, yeah, that's hilarious. And like they're trying to put us in, but it's like real slow. But like, they're like, oh, 8th of April, uh, and then like a few weeks, and then, oh, okay, 20th of April, come back in again, just, just do some like office work, you know? And I'm like, for how long and what office work? We don't even have a fucking office. And they're like, no, 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 just come in, just come in. And I'm like, yeah, and you'll be like, oh, look, isn't that convenient? The kids are here too. <laughs> You're going to be like, wow, you are going to jail. Because, you know, the government, Chinese government is being extremely strict on this, as you can imagine. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Hang on. So, uh, did I miss anything there? So, yeah, we're getting a lot of this shit at the moment. I'm like, oh, you are just going to get like and I don't care I've already put my notice in for this place because this is one of these profit over the welfare of my staff companies where they're like yeah we're just gonna pay you zero 
this next couple of months. And I'm like, oh, are you? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I, and they were just basically like, I'm pretty sure I don't give a fuck. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm finding another job then. And I went to the next place and interviewed and they said, oh, what's wrong with your current company? And I said, they're not paying me for this whole two month period, three month period. They're not paying me. They're paying me the legal minimum, which is the equivalent of a hundred pounds a month. And they were like, oh, they're horrible people. And I'm like, uh-huh, they sure are. All health pickups. You see, I don't like that. Because I tend to need to go back and get them later. Mm, I might put that off for a bit. I know that's kind of a coward's way route out, but... This Maxima Armors. Uh... Fuck you! I just gotta get out of here, man. Gotta get out of here! <laughs> that trick comes in handy. One neat trick. The Kako demons hate it. Once you get that timing down. <laughs> man, I really need to pee as well, and I don't know how long this should have drank all that Pepsi, man. Oh no. Can I go back? I bet I can't go back. Oh, oh no, no bueno. We'll deal with that later. So, uh, yeah, my company that I'm with now is super corrupt and they've got loads of illegals working for them as well. I'm legal because I refuse to work in any situation where I'm not because I'm like, dude, nah, I don't have to deal with this shit. I'm fucking like a native speaker of English. I'm white British. You can't sit, well, any British to be honest. It's like, they're kind of racist over here and they're like, oh, if you're black British, you're like not as good as a teacher. And it's like a load of racist shit. Cause they listen to the parents who are like, I don't want, they're kind of scared. Chinese people, some race, not all, not all. Some Chinese parents are a bit like, you know how parents are though? First parents are just like, hey, my racist attitudes towards people, I'm just being safe for my kid, okay? And you're like, your xenophobia is not my concern, lady. But like, I've worked with a load of black guys and their parents go, I don't want that person teaching my kid. And they're like, why? He's an excellent teacher. He's black. And you're like, wow, you know, I think it's not safe for my kid to be taught by a black. And you're like, oh, you're going to hell. <laughs> like, you're a bad person. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't say that. I don't really like talking about it, but like, uh, I'm talking about it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and like, over here I'm like, dude, like, I don't need to be illegal ever because I have, like, I'm British, I'm an English speaker, I'm the most English speaking English English ever. Do I actually have to do things and use my brain here? Because I'm not doing that. Oh, well, I get free free bullets anyway. Okay, let's actually look at what I'm doing. Instead of ranting. Uh, let's just see if we can do it straight away. Okay, 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 yeah. Oh. I did it. Good. 
got to go fast. So this is going to do some lore, isn't it? Before we do that, I'm going to point. Can go through here yet? Sorry, everyone. Gotta get the stuff. Oh no, we can't. Can we go to this one? Looks like we can. It's a closed door. So, no, we can't. I mean, I don't want to sit here and bitch to people about things they don't give a shit about. Oh, that looks important. Ooh. So, this is my vault. You were saying? Your vault will have everything you need. Do it. Oh, show me the blade. Die as you live in the flash of the blade. One man and his armor. Which gun do I like? I really like this gun. A really good gun. Whew. That's metal. It's metal as fuck. Secrets. Look, why can't I keep finding all these secrets? And look at all that shit down there. I see a puzzle. Yeah, so my work fucking sucks. They're super, like, illegal. They're, like, not licensed to have foreigners, which is, like, a thing you have to have to employ and or um, get visas for them. So everyone else is illegal because I just transferred my visa from my old job that was legal. And they were like, oh, yeah, we can do that. And ever since, they've just been pieces of shit, man. Like, real bad people. Is this mine? Do I sit here? Nice. I know I gotta knock that down, but I'm just trying to work out how to platform. Oh man. I don't wanna go to pee, because then I have to do video editing later <laughs> to try and edit out me leaving for like 10, 20 minutes. But I don't, oh, uh, what did I do? I do something wrong. Oh no, please let, sir, let me back, let me back. Bad. So you're telling me those are nothing? Right now they're nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I need a ha I need this for my house. Take up my whole house, but I don't fucking care. Uh, yeah, they're like really bad. My current school, really bad. That's why I left because they were like, "Oh yeah, we're paying you this," and then I found out like there's a whole like racist cabal, and it's illegal to unionize in China, but they just have a secret group chat filled with all of the South Africans, and they get special treatment because they put pressure on the school to give them better pay during times of crisis than everyone else. So like all of the like whites and all of the non uh, South Africans get paid crap salaries and are starving in this period of time. And the uh, South Africans are like, oh yeah, I'm getting my full salary. And you're like, wow, fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, get fuck out my face with this. And like, first thing that I did, like, when I got there, I was like, oh, hey, you know, trying to meet everyone, and, like, there's one South African guy working with me, and the first thing he said to me was, I don't want you here, you're white, I don't work with white people, and it turns out, like, five people prior to me, um, left, and I was like, why did they leave, and he's like, I don't know, white people all have mental problems, fucking white people and I was like everyone hearing this 
everyone hearing this and I was just like and then every time he talks to me now I'm like you sure you want to talk to me mate because I'm white and he's like I don't know what you're talking about you're crazy white people are crazy and I'm like you're doing it again you fucking prick and I'm just like what's this guy's problem and then like I you know it's a small environment the place I live in for foreigners you end up knowing all the foreigners and he's like I know everyone here I'm the king of this place and they're all like, yeah, we don't talk to that guy. He's a fucking lunatic. And that, like, all the white people are like, oh, no, he's a huge bigot. Like, he's a fucking bigot, man. Oh, that took me forever. Like, he's really bad. Like, like every white person knows him because he'll come up to them in bars and be like, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my area. And he's, like, racist to Chinese people as well. He's like, I don't even know. Like, you know, and he's, like, super racist towards them. And I'm like, Wow you need to just leave because that shit ain't welcome here. <laughs> like, you know? But, like, um, yeah, like I found out that there's been, like, terrible retention since he was hired from the white staff because he literally goes around trying to gaslight them out of the company and it's like, fucking white people, get the fuck out of this company. And obviously they're all like, well, I'm on my way out anyway because they can't provide me with legal rights to stay here. And, like... A lot of these guys are like Americans, Canadians, New Zealanders, Australians, and like Irish, and people who can get a visa for being natives. So we're just like, well, we can go get paid a proper wage and not have to deal with this racist abuse. And they just keep thinking they're going to get away with it. And I'm like, dude, look at your attention figures to like my lead supervisor, who's also South African, and let's and he's also harboring kind of racist ideals because uh, he's always like, oh, well, you guys deserve it. And I'm like, keep your alt-right shit out of my fucking like, face, man. I'm here to do a job, you know? You do this shit to me, like, that's not cool. And like, uh, you know, I'm just like, this is dumb. Super unfair. But like, uh, where is that secret? Yeah, it's like super busted at my current place. Like it's corrupt as all hell. No one does anything about anything. So you're just like, oh, this is fucked, man. You guys need to sort out your situation. And they're like, nah, it's fine. I'm like, it's really not fine though. <laughs> like you, you guys are like, it's super bad. So like I handed my notice in and they're like, yeah, that makes about sense. And it's like, yeah, you wanted me out because I'm white. Great. Great feeling. <laughs> need this shit but like yeah like I could get a proper visa I have a proper visa now obviously but like uh, it means that I can safeguard me having a proper visa in the future if I'd stayed with this place it would have eventually invalidated my visa because they can't renew it it's really weird And like, yeah, they're super corrupt and they're like, it's happened multiple times where they're like lying to the government saying shit like, yeah, we made our staff sign a waiver so that they can go back to work, right? And you're like, no, the government, we didn't sign anything. And the government's like, no, even if they did, we said no. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, but we sent them all a text saying, if you read this text, I hereby state that you have to go to work. So that that counts, right, as legal consent. And they're like, no. <laughs> and also it's a health risk. And also we demand you stay closed. And they're like, um, what if we, and they're like, no. If you do that, we'll like straight up come around and shut you down. And they're like, but what if, and they're like, no. <laughs> like, you know, shut up, kind of thing. And, like, I'm just waiting for them to go, oh, yeah, technically we're a high school now. Yeah. In, like, mid-April. But it's, like, the rumors at the moment, and these are only rumors, because uh, people are, like, I speculate. Because in China, if you say, oh, yeah, and misinform people about this stuff, you can get arrested for it. So people are very specific about their language. 
They don't say, oh yeah, the thing I heard, yeah, it sounds pretty legit, we're going back at this time. They never say that, because there's a high risk that you, like, are going to get caught for saying things that aren't true and purveying it as fact, and that's a thing here. Misinformation is, like, a problem here. Uh, can I just... No, that was locked, otherwise I would have done that. Jeez. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, oh, that looks important. trying to get the hang of this because I need to start using accuracy occasionally. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's super fucked at my place right now and I just changed to another job recently and I'm just handing my notice in and doing my, you know, the notice period and stuff. And they're like, yeah, we don't have to pay you. And I'm like, it says in the contract you have to pay me. And they're like, nah, we don't have to pay you. And I'm like, oh, wow, you are just like really pushing it now. And they're like, yeah, and they're trying to hold my visa over them. So what I'm doing is just getting all the paperwork for my visa done really quickly. So when my visa gets transferred, I'm just going to stop showing up to work because these guys like, I wrote several worded complaints to every member of HR saying, you have a member of staff and the first thing he said to me was a racist, abusive assault and nothing was done about it. He then went around like talking shit about me the whole time like alienating me and telling everybody not to talk to me and then started saying threatening me and sending me threatening texts and shit and nothing was done and they're like oh yeah um i'm just gonna ignore that because you know and it's like wow okay i don't want to work for you <laughs> like you know it's like realistically in a one if he did that to me outside of work obviously i'd just be like what the fuck you doing man you're just gonna get your ass handed to you don't talk to me like that i don't care who you are but like, um, at work, I'm like, kindly fuck off, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, a lot less aggression at work because I'm around kids and I don't want to be caught beating a guy senseless. So um, I'm like, no, if you said that to me in a bar, the guy's a fat piece of shit as well. If you said that to me in a bar, it's like, oh, yeah, fucking white people go home. It's like, dude, you get the fuck away from me. I'm going to bottle you. <laughs> like, you know, don't do that shit, man. Um, I don't like racism. I don't think many people do. It's hardly like a nuanced thing, is it? <laughs> like, no one wants that shit. I don't care what racism you're spewing, what bigotry. Don't say it. Not around me, I'm gonna get mad. Hmm. Some form of force field. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's real fucked at the moment. And like, the goat, like, so I'm waiting for Nice, I get the sword. Yeah. Oh, it's a little shorter than I... Oh. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> How did he know? Samuel Hayden's hilarious. Like, at the beginning, uh, in halfway through the... Um, the Crucible is a melee weapon of the power of the Unsheath, and then there's a cleave of the demons. Each demon costs a pip. Ah. That's what these are. I saw these in the master level and I was like, what? Someone tell me where my pips are at. I ran out of pips. Let's collect some more pips. Get this crucible energy. 
So yeah, like uh, my current place is racist, like in an institutional unionized, which is a legal uh, way. It's illegal. It's like to the point that like <laughs> my older, so my old, um, the guy I was shadowing before I left, he was like, yeah, the government are coming. And I was like, oh, okay, what do we do? And he's like, take all the English displays down and we have to run and hide. I'm like, oh, are you kidding? I think he was joking with me because it's just, you know, oh, you're new here. Ha ha ha. We're just fucked with you. He's like, no, legit. Help me pull this down. And I was like, oh, and he was like a really chill guy, really chill. But he was like, nah, man, we gotta go. <laughs> like, we gotta go. Oh, those are pips. Um, like, real, like, nah, man, we go. We go now. I like this sword. It's like the berserk mode in a sword. I'm sorry, what were you saying? So, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, um, yeah, like, Straight up, and that happened several times because it turned out one of the ex-members of staff who this uh, racist asshole was being racist to called up the government anonymously and said, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a load of illegals over there. You should probably go talk to them about it and so on. And they were like, oh, okay. And they sent two different visitations of like um, government people to observe them in like a month. And they had, to, each time they had to run away and hide everything. And I was like, yeah, and that was like my first week or month or so of being there was that. And I was like, wow, okay, yeah, that's not cool. And like, they keep protecting this racist asshole. I'm like, you realize that's why your retention's so poor, especially amongst white staff, because he's just literally being racist and like, threatening all of us and we're just like okay man it's a hard job this job as well average teaching hours in these kind of places are normally like 25 teaching hours and then like five to ten uh work hours that are like office time here it's like 50 hours and you're always with the kids because it's like a kindergarten kindergarten and they don't pay you hardly any more than a learning center you know I have the pip. That's cool. I hope I can upgrade that at some point. Oh. Oh. This asshole. None. I got nothing. So yeah, oh no, he's bringing in like Doom Hunters and shit. No, 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 no! Shit, 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 shit! Not good. Not good. Uh, I'm running low on everything. Let me focus on winning and then we'll come back to my story of horrible race hate uh, and like super bad businesses because China's got a lot of the bad business. Oh shit. Oh. Oh no. Um, you. Where's this asshole? Okay, that will give me more space, but it's not straight away going to work. Not really the big problem at the moment, the little zombie. Uh, let's focus on that. Yeah, no, like, it's literally, uh, it's pretty fucked up at my work, and that's why I moved. So I moved to a place where they're like, yeah, we only hire legal guys. 
I'll think of, well, I'll get rid of racists like him, because, like, uh, if you're an ESL teacher, sometimes being South African, it's like, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not fine, because they keep going in and out of whether or not South Africa has it enough as a main language for it to be considered native level, because a lot of people are in the home, it keeps getting, like, delisted as official or contested to be delisted as an official language. So, you know, there's that. And it means that, like, a lot of people in China are like, yeah, we don't take those guys. And they're straight up getting really sniffy about it. Like, real sniffy. Technically, they're supposed to accept Jamaicans, but they don't in a lot of places. They're like, um, no, because of course they're mostly black. And they're super racist here. <laughs> like, you know, it kind of sucks, actually, if you're, like, the kind of guy who's just like, I like everybody and I don't fucking care. Because, um, you know, you've got your boss's boss and the people you're, whose parents, the parents, uh, like the clients, basically. Oh. No. Yes. Oh, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Feels like a Slayer challenge, man. Uh, yeah, so you got those guys, and then you got these racist assholes. And normally, like, expats stick together, and this guy is just like, he, do, he didn't get the memo, <laughs> like, you know, and I think he needs to get learned a little bit. Because he's a. Uh, a problem. But like, yeah, like, my company is super bad, like, they think that we don't read the news, and it's like, you do realize we know that we're not supposed to be here, right? So, like, we're aware, and we're reading all the time, and it says, at the moment, the uh, I, the prediction is mid-May, if everything goes well with the high schools, and no more cases happen. And uh, my school, I reckon, are going to go, oh, look, we're open again. What a surprise. And it's like, yeah, no, you're going to go to jail if you do that. It's so like I said, China's not dealing with these people in a way that's like, they're just like, no. Because China's one of those com countries where they can just say, no, you're closing down. And if they go, well, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to like put you in jail. I'm arresting you because you're not listening. Like, they straight up don't give a fuck. They don't care. They're just like, oh, you want to go outside? And we said, no. We're literally going to have a guy stand outside your house now. And if you go outside, he's going to be, like, following your ass and saying, get back inside, or I'll arrest you. But if you become a problem, and, like, you know, they don't put up with that shit. They're very, like, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, I reckon my company's gonna try something like that. But, like, the irony is, my two, uh, my two months notice started at the beginning of April, right? They're gonna try and get us in to do preparation in the beginning of April, uh, the mid, the scattered throughout April. They reckon it's not until mid-May we'll be allowed to return. And, like, so that'll be, like, one or two weeks. And then I'll be like, yeah, see ya, fucker. <laughs> and they're like, and they can't, like, the borders are closed. Like, even if you're legal right now, you can't get in. Uh, China at the moment, if you're foreign. And even if you're a legal, like, person, they, they've shut the borders permanently because there was a problem. Some guy came in that was foreign. 
and he had the illness and he caused the the numbers to go up again because he got he infected some people and they're like oh okay um no foreigners because <laughs> one guy came in and fucked it up we were doing well and like uh because i don't know the official state uh, stats no one does at the moment but it has dropped a lot here to the point that they're like, okay, we can reopen businesses in most provinces. New, 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 new. Oh, 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 oh. Do I have? Do I have? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, <clears throat> let's find a dude to chainsaw. Do they just count as zombies? Because they seem pretty like... That was dumb. Got some helps. So yeah, like, um... It's a pretty interesting time at my super corrupt ass. Sorta of racist, sorta of unionized when they're not supposed to be school for all the super corrupt and super illegal and I'm kind of glad that I'm on my way out and like I was saying the moment I get the chance I am like out of there and it's just working my uh, notice period now and then I'm just like see you fuck I'm never going back to this shit <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stop for there for now Oh. Well, at least gonna pause it, start a new recording session, and um, take a piss. Let's see what these guys have to say first, though. Or not, because I don't think it will go without me, will it? Because I have to press the X to go. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs>